Hello, friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As y'all know, today's Friday. And you know what happens every Friday. It's Fenty Friday. Today's Fenty Friday. We're gonna be bringing you a little something, something new, a little something, something fresh for springtime for the girls. It's Sephora's VIB sales event, and I did a little, a little Fenty haul. Not only is it Sephora's VIB spring sales time event, it was also a new Fenty launch. So we got some new, new from Fenty that we're gonna talk about. I'm going to discuss a little bit about what I bought in my haul, which wasn't a lot, and then we're gonna jump into the Fenty review. So I'll probably leave timestamp somewhere. But if you want to jump straight to the cream bronzer blush reviews but let me show you what i ordered oh is my address visible i don't know where i live i wanted to do something a little cute and fresh today because it's really gloomy today in chicago so we have a little summertime crop top and today's look's gonna be a little bit bronzy i'm coming to you um with a basic fenty face i use my standard skin prep and I did basic Fenty foundation concealer situation. Since today we're gonna to be talking about bronzer and blush, we will be doing that later in the video. So what did I order? First and foremost, let's start with the non-Fenty essentials. If you look at my skincare review, skincare routine videos, you see that I talk about the Ordinary's Azelaic Acid Suspension. Skincare staple, I need that in my skincare routine or else my skin retaliates so i ordered another one it cost like what eight dollars before the discount so i didn't still you save that much money but i have another one so i'm really happy about that this the fresh sugar caramel hydrating lip balm my boyfriend loves this so he ordered it for himself but i'm gonna be using it because it's my house this talk a lot about the dr dart stick up hair line a lot as well and i actually have never used this i don't think i might have used it once um, but I've never owned this. I've only ever used like the sleeping mask and the toning mist. So I'm excited to try this. This is the Stick of Pear Tiger Grass Calming Gel Cream. So it's a little bit more lightweight because it is the gel cream, not just a straight cream cream. Um, so excited to try this. Tiger Grass, really great staple ingredient. Again, for me, just because I do a lot with treatments and it's really calming, really soothing, really nourishing, really replenishing for the skin. And for the most part, that was the non fancy items in the order. I also have all these little fragrance samplers. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but I strongly recommend download Rakuten and have it added into your browser add-ons. So basically if you go on a website that is offering online rebate, which pretty much every website is at some point to some degree, the Rakuten one prompts you to activate the rebate. And so everything you shop for, you get X percent back. So it'll always tell you, it changes a lot. When I did this order, I think it was about 4%, but I've seen Sephora go anywhere up to 10% rebate, as low as 1% rebate. I also have another one called, I think, Wikibuy. I use it a lot because anytime I go online to order something and I go to check out, it prompts me to input any promo code that it might recommend using. And that's how I get free shipping or 10% off or free samples. So for this order, I used a Rakuten promo code for Sephora that gave me all these free fragrance samplers. So I have a bunch of these to try. Really excited. Now, onto the important part. My Fenty order. So part of these are just a lot of matchsticks because you know I love my matchsticks. Um, I ordered four. As you can see here, I ordered Maple, which is my general foundation shade. I love this one. My boyfriend and I both use it, so we always need to have at least an extra one in stock. I ordered Mocha contour shade. I've had my Mocha no sh since the Fenty launch back in 2017. So it's been a minute and it took me a while, but I went through it and it's time for a new one. So Mocha. Rum. Rum is one of the shimmer sticks from the Matchsticks line that I've always wanted. I've wanted this since it launched and I kept talking myself out of it. And finally I was like, you know what, fuck it. Let's just order it. It's cute for looks. It's really bronzy, warm, uh, metallic -y finish. So it's really cute as subtle shimmery bronzer or on the eye. It'll look really cute. And then Bordeaux Brat. Bordeaux Brat is one of the new Fenty Matchsticks from the shimmer line. It's really cute burgundy purple. Um, that's really cute as a blush. Um, or as a little subtle, subtle eye color. So I'm excited to use this one. I also ordered this. This is a Fenty Fly Pencil. This is the long wear, uh, basically the cream eyeliners. This is in the shade Bank Tank. It's a cute little olive green that I'm using for a future video, Fenty Friday, which we'll hopefully see soon. And now for the important part of the video, let's talk about the new Fenty launches, the cream bronzers and the cream blushes. I'm not on Fenty PR, obviously. I had to pay money for these myself obviously so i didn't get all of them i didn't ball out i got the shades that i wanted and i actually have more coming up i waited until like noon the day of the launch so 
some of the shades I wanted sold out. But in this order, I received the Rose Latte and Strawberry Drip. Rose Latte I saw on the like promo models and it looks beautiful as just like a, a cute deeper blush color that would be great for like draping. So uh, basically shading your face using nothing but blush instead of contour bronzer. And then Strawberry Drip is a nice bright corally color, which I like corals on my skin for more of a blushy pop that's not too pink for me. So those are what I have. And then for bronzer, I ordered the shade Teddy. Teddy is a little bit darker than I think what was recommended for like the high 200, 300 range. For reference, I'm Fenty shade 290. Um, I can go anywhere between about 240 up to about 320, depending on time of year and how tan I am. So Teddy's a little bit deeper, but I already have the powder bronzer in the shade Private Island. I have Mocha. I also have the matchstick in the shade Suede. So I have a pretty good array of colors. So I really wanted to try Teddy as more of a deep, deep bronze color to see how that looks. So these are the bronzer and the two blushes that I got in this order. For the bronzer, you can see the packaging is very similar. Clean it all. To the powder bronzer. It just has cream written across it, so you know, but very, very similar, if not the same exact packaging. For the blushes in this launch, the overwhelming response online is that these are substantially smaller than what we're used to with all the kilowatts and the bronzers and whatnot. I mean, I'm not someone who wears this much blush generally, so I wouldn't go through this very quickly, but there are some people who bathe in blush, therefore I know for them this is a little bit disappointing. So if these are pigmented, maybe you don't need that much. I don't know, we'll find out, but um, yeah. The amount in this pan is less than half the amount in the cream pan for the bronzers, but the price point doesn't reflect that. These are $20. These are, I think, mid 30 range. Looking at the matchsticks, for example, again, I use Mocha and Suede for contour and bronzer in the matchsticks, which are, I think, more oily skin friendly since they are more cream to powder finishes. They do dry down in a powder finish. For the matchsticks, you get 7.1 grams. For the cream bronzer, you only get the six grams. 6.23 grams. So you do get more product in a matchstick than you do in a bronzer, and the bronzer is still way more expensive. Do with that info what you will. So let's get to swatching. So this is the Fenty Cream Bronzer in the shade Teddy. Again, I am shade 290 in the foundation. This is what Teddy looks like. This is shade number five in the cream bronzer range. Let me swatch that next to Mocha and Suede so you get a comparison. Mocha and Suede are again, the two matte match sticks that I use for contour and bronzer. It's gonna be Mocha. And then this is gonna be Suede. I mean, Mocha's a bit more pink. It's a bit cool tone compared to Teddy. It's for contour, that's what I want it for. For reference, Mocha came in the Matchsticks Trio, the pre-selected one you get in Sephora stores as the designated contour color for the 200 range. That's why I have it. And for me, it's a great contour color. The undertone is perfect for creating a nice sculpted look that's not warm. Contour and bronzer are not the same thing. Contour creates a shade, bronzer adds warmth. Placement and undertones are gonna be different for both products, so just know that now. Fellow YouTuber Gigi's Beauty, um, she got the shade Honey Glaze, and for her, she was surprised at how warm it was, and um, therefore she didn't necessarily think it was a great contour shade, but that's just a testament to bronzers are warm for bronzing, they add a warmth to the face, they go a little bit higher than you would put contour. Contour shades are supposed to be more gray, more cool tone to help create the look of shadow. Teddy, to me, looks a bit more like neutrally warm. To me, it doesn't look like yellow, yellow. It's like, okay. Mocha, more cool tone. Suede, which for me is warm, warm. Also looking at them on my hand, I see that the cream bronzer has a lot more emollient shine to it. I could tell that it's supposed to be a very, very cream formula. Whereas the Mocha and Suede shades have a bit more of a matte finish to them, so. And then for comparison to the powder bronzer, shade Private Island, compared to Teddy as well. As you can see, lighter. I already have a light bronzer. I have lighter bronzer shades. So that's why I really wanted to amp up the bronze and go a bit deeper. Cream products, because they are so forgiving and you have a lot of control with how the pigment pays off and how it blends, I wasn't afraid to go darker necessarily. That's why I chose Teddy for my 290 shade. But normally my bronzer color is Private Island. So you can see a range right there. Let's apply a little bit. On one side, I'm gonna use only the cream bronzer. On the other side, I'm gonna do a little bit more of a gradiated effect. I'll go in with my mocha contour, put on the Teddy shade and see how that looks. So no, I did not buy the Fenty brush that went along with this launch. We balling on a budget here. 
and I didn't feel the need to. I got brooches, so my dream in life is to be on the Fenty PR and to get a full launch at once, but we'll see when that happens. So I'm gonna be using the Precision Blending Sponge from the Fenty Beauty line to apply it. Again, with cream, my mantra is build up. So start with a sheer layer and build up the coverage to get the effect that you want. Again, bronzer, I'm gonna put a little bit oh, higher than I normally would. Again, for me, bronzer, because it's intended to mimic the areas of your face where you get sun, where you get color, where during the summer, you really start to really develop a bronzy look. And that's the tops of your forehead, over the bridge of your nose, across the tops of your cheekbone. And then for extra dimension, throw that in the eye a little bit. So see, that sheer layer blended out isn't too stark, it's not too exaggerated. It's a nice little bronze. Build it up a little bit. <laughs> it's a great color. I am so happy with this color choice. It's making my skin look like butter. I love cream products for that reason. Again, I'm using the hydrating foundation and I only set underneath my eyes and around my nose area and the center of my forehead. So everything over here is um, unset. It's just straight foundation like I put it down. But cream products over that is just so emollient. It really just, it kind of has the same effect as setting spray to me where it just creates a very nice, glossy, smooth finish. How does that look? Really good. Really good. <laughs> you see right there, it's the Teddy by itself over 290. It looks good. No bronzer, wait bronzer. Winter, summer. Great value. Luxury. So on this side, I'm gonna go in with my Milka contour to add definition and then bronze like I normally would so we can see how the two look together. To apply the contour, I'm gonna be going in with my full body foundation brush from Fenty Beauty. You know with contour, I like to go a little bit higher than normal, but now above that, we're going to diffuse that contour up with bronzer. Again, going in with my precision sponge. The texture on this is incredible. Okay, well I am bronzed. I am warm. This is a really nice product. I like the finish, I like the texture of it. It doesn't look too shiny. It didn't move anything underneath it. It works really well in conjunction with the uh, matte matchstick in Mocha. Yeah, I really like it. It's a great undertone. I love this undertone. It is warm, it adds the nice depth that I like from a bronzer. Again, I went darker for that reason. I wanted to be able to build it up if I needed to, but I understood that I can control it. Therefore, I can make it as sheer and as subtle as I needed it to be. If you ever worried, bronzers are better than powder formulas in my opinion, just for ease of control and easier to fix cream products than it is powder products in my opinion. So they're more beginner friendly. Let me see how this works on the eye. I'm gonna be taking a synthetic fluffy brush with the cream bronzer again, and just diffusing that around the eye a little bit. I love bronzer in the eye. For me, if I could use as few products as possible and do a full face effect, it's even better. So the versatility of products is really important to me. You're looking good. Let's hop over to the blushes now. So I got Rose Latte, Strawberry Drip. This is what they look like. Um, again, I saw this on the models and this was a beautiful color. So for days that I want to do a little bit more with a fresh face, this is a great color in that it allows you to get the pigment and the coloring of blush, but also like the depth and the sculpting of like a bronzer contour situation. So this is like a two-in-one product that's great for draping. And then there's this, I love corally colors. This is a really bold corally color. And I don't wanna pop a little bit more. This will be a really beautiful color for like spring or summer. And I also wanna show these along with some of the fancy kilowatts and matchstick colors that I have. So we'll do one at a time. Rosé Latte. Again, these are super creamy colors. This would be a great lip color. Oh my gosh. Again, versatility. These on your cheeks and on your lips and on your lids, monochrome. So this is the color Rose Latte. Next to that, I'm gonna be swatching the Kilowatt in the shade Ruby Riches, just for comparison's sake, as well as the Kilowatt Duo in the shade Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. Rose Latte, Ruby Riches, 
Ginger Binge Moscow Mule. You see there's a little bit more depth to this. To me, this is just like a deep nude. This low key kind of resembles what Kat Von D's Lolita used to look like to me. Pretty neutral, very, very approachable nude color. This is why it looks great. It looks great on every model from 100s up to the 400s. Um, Ruby Riches is a bit more, to me, like brick red color. And then if anything, Rosé Latte and Moscow Mule look the most similar out of the colors. So this would be a great uh, pairing color with Rosé Latte if you want to do blush highlighter duo. This has a blush, this is a eyeshadow, and then this is a highlight to go with the blush as well. Now we're going to go into Strawberry Drip. Again, this is much brighter coral, super, super creamy. We'll swatch it over on this side. Oh, that's a lot lighter than I thought it'd be. That's like a bright coral. That's a really pinky. Wow. Um, I was not expecting that, gonna be honest. Um, compared to the pan, I mean, they look the same. It's not like a different color entirely. I just didn't think it'd be that neon. That's really bright. Um, I honestly don't have anything that's similar to that. So here are some product swatches. I tried to find the color that matched to the strawberry drip and I couldn't, but for comparison's sake, this is strawberry drip, the cream blush. This is Redick the matchstick, which is supposed to be more of a red color, but it looks a little bit more neon orange here. This is Bordeaux Bratz, the new shimmer matchstick that I got. Much deeper, much more burgundy color. Here I have Sangria Sunset, which, I mean, they could be sisters. I really would have used them together. This to me is a very, very bright magenta color compared to Strawberry Drip, so they're not even close. And this last one is the Water Brat Kilowatts, which, it doesn't even look close. So I couldn't find anything to dupe this. I don't have the most expansive makeup collection though. Therefore you might have something closer, but I don't. So let's get to applying them. For the first side, I'm gonna be doing a strawberry drip on the side that I have the contour and the bronzer on. Again, with my precision blending sponge. So I'm gonna pick some color up on the butt of that and let's start. Okay, so right away I'm getting a lot of pigment. It might not be bright on camera. One thing I've had to learn through doing this is that what I see in the mirror with all the lights and everything versus what translates onto camera isn't exactly the same, but I mean, there's pigment. There's definitely some, there's pigment paint off. But what I like about it is it still looks really, really good. It looks very fresh. It looks very, it looks very spring. I'm not mad at this color. I'd be really excited to see this on a really deep tone. So high 300s into the 400 range, I. I'm hopeful this would pop a lot. Again, the pigment on these, it looks really buildable and it looks like it can get pretty intense. And bright neon colors like this, to me, look amazing on really deep colored skin. I used to love to use these kinds of colors for custom makeovers at Sephora. So I'm excited to see if someone like Jackie or Nima get to uh, try this color. And next on this side, I'm gonna be using Rose Latte. I am so hyped to use this. So we're gonna go in with the butt again. Let's get any excess product off. And let's do the butt of our precision sponge. I don't usually wear blush. It wasn't until one of the more recent videos that um, I did blush and my boyfriend was like, you look really good with blush. But I was like, maybe I can, maybe I can uh, change my mind about blush, use it more often. Again, what I like about this formula is that it makes my skin look so glossy, so juicy. Even if you set this down a little bit, what I like about it is that, I mean, we'll see longevity. Throughout the day, as you warm it up with your skin and as the oils from your skin starts to really mix with that color, it's just gonna look really, really glossy. So your skin's gonna look super, super, super fresh. And plus, if you have really textured skin, if you have, even if you have breakouts, uh, cream pigments over um, textured skin, breakouts, bumps, cystic acne, it um, doesn't create the same kind of texture that uh, powder blush does. And a lot of times with those products, you're going in, you're buffing those on, which pro tip, if you have to use powders, stipple them on, press them on, don't swipe them or um, swish them on. Um, but cream products diminish a lot of the texture appearance you get from that kind of movement. So you can still get the color payoff you want without really accentuating texture. So cream highlights work a lot better as well. They really meld with the skin. So yeah, those look really good. And they look pretty different. This head looks really, really, it looks more cool, more bright for spring. And this looks more warm, a little bit more deep to me. So this is really good, like summertime look or like nighttime look. This would be a great blush for like a really, really vampy look. How does this look on the lip? I'm gonna try on the lip, I'm sorry. Um, look at how hot this lip looks. 
This looks great on the lip. It's not gonna stay. It's not gonna be very, very uh, long wear. But rose latte on the lip, fire. Oh my God. So you can use this on the lip if you want to. Strongly recommend. This with a brown lip liner would look so good. Oh my God. So I'm going to finish setting my face. I'm going to do a little bit for the eye just to give it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to highlight and I'll be right back. So I finished off my face. Each side I added one of the highlights that I felt kind of um, paired best with the blush. So for Rose Latte, I use the Moscow Mule side of that Ginger Binge Moscow Mule duo. And then on the Strawberry Drip side, I use Whata Brat. You can see them. Since each of them, especially Moscow Mule, has more pigment payoff as well as a shimmer, I paired each side with the Mean Money Hustle Baby Highlight to kind of add just a little bit brighter of luminosity on the high points of the cheeks. And then I did a soft set only on the side of my face. So if you look on each side, there's still a lot of shine, still a lot of glow. I didn't use any setting spray or anything. That's just the natural reflect and shine from the hydrating foundation, the cream bronzer, cream blush highlight. So if you have dry skin, this just these by themselves give you really great pigment and you don't really have to set. If you're oily skin like me, I would recommend a light set. If you wanna do a setting spray or a light layer of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder or the Invisimat Blotting Powder, that would be great to hopefully keep it in place and lock it down for a little bit longer but it looks super good. I like the fact that just the cream formula melds so nicely with the foundation. And honestly, I'm gonna be very honest with you. Have you ever had a situation where you try to blend in foundation and it just starts to pill a little bit? For me, that happens right here in my temples a lot with sunscreen for some reason. When I went over that area with the cream bronzer and the cream blush, that just melded everything back down. So everything over here looks super, super, super smooth and just glossy and glowy. I'm honestly so hyped, so impressed with this. This is going to be such a staple in my makeup now. It was so easy to blend, so easy to use. It diffused and set on the skin so nicely. It just looks super, super fresh. And you have really good variety right here. Spring, summer, day, night, fresh, sultry. Whatever you need, whatever your brand is. So yeah, that was the blushes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, anything else you wanna see for Fenty Friday, let me know. Yo voy a hacer este video en español para la gente que habla español, um, para que ellos puedan saber mis opiniones de estos productos de crema. And yeah, have a happy Friday. Stay safe, make good choices, or not. I'm not your mom. Like and subscribe this video. Hit that thumbs up down below and leave me something nice in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Yeah, bye guys.